In 1990, NOLA.com, the Times-Picayune photographer Ted Jackson, went looking for a camp of homeless men. He didn't find them, but he did find Jackie Wallace. I didn't go looking for Jackie. I, I just kind of, kind of just came up on him. The way he was sleeping, the way he was organized, the way he was set up there was just very unusual. And, you know, the conversation was leading really nowhere until he, he told me that you ought to do a story about me. Jackie was a standout football player at St. Augustine High School before he played in the NFL with the Minnesota Vikings, the Baltimore Colts, and the Los Angeles Rams. But by 1990, the New Orleans star football player with two Super Bowl rings had dropped off the map. Nobody seemed to know where he was until Ted found him. Jackie was alone, addicted to drugs, and homeless. In the years since, Ted has been a part of stories following Jackie as he has boomeranged between life on the straight and narrow and life on the streets. As a photographer, when I first got into photography, uh, I, what I did fall in love with was the power of photography to change lives. And, and um, so when I saw Jackie in his locker room in Baltimore, the fact that he still had that picture and a collection of pictures actually um, with him uh, was, was very meaningful to me. Just the fact that he said that uh, he had to look at that every day to remember where he was and to remember that just one step, one slip up would send him right back where he had, where I had found him. You, you want to care about Jackie, you, you, just, you just do. Um, but there's a lot of self-destruction that goes along with his addiction that, uh, that he struggles with, that, uh, that I know has frustrated a lot of people that have tried to help him. I know NFL players continuously have problems like this, but it's, um, um, but, but Jackie's was unique in that there was nothing to prepare him for this.